after a bit of an up and down run of fixtures and results recently, we are back today with Watford, shoot down for the King Power, play Leicester City. Hello guys and welcome back for another episode with Watford and as you can see the results out unbeaten and run ended. It was all going to happen, it was all going to happen. But before we get into that, if you came here before and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. You're missing out on easy free notifications of when the episodes go live every day. You'll miss it out when this goes live. So hit the subscribe button right now. If you do enjoy the video at the end, hit the thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Last time at Aston Villa, a 1 1 draw wasn't the result I asked for, was it really? It wasn't great. I mean, many things better than it would be a week later. Look at this. The biggest hit and run in history. Watford 2, Manchester City 0. We had two shots on target this whole game. Two shots, two goals, job done. Wide centre backs, look at that, 7.6 and 7.7 .7 for the wide centre backs. Best average ratings in the team. How on earth has this happened? Against Man City, it was it was just a genius move. Absolute genius. I mean, you see Man City stats there. Fair possession, XG of 2.24, 21 shots, 6 on target, and they still couldn't score. Absolutely amazing stuff. So, following the Man City result, we was in good spirits. We thought, you know what, this five-back, wide centre-back, it, it's a thing of beauty. We're using it more often. So we went to Anfield, and it, it didn't work. 2-0 defeat to Liverpool. I mean, we wasn't in the game at all. We had one shot on target this time. And just, you can see their possession was dominated. They had 40 shots. 4-0, 40 shots, 15 on target. A massive XG, two goals. Mo Salah, of course, one for the penalty spot. You can see really, like, Firmino had a really poor game at 5.8 rating. The attacking line just didn't see the ball at all. It, it wasn't our best day out, honestly. Shocking result, shocking game. But, I mean, you can't beat all the big boys, realistically. We are newly promoted side in Watford. And the most recent one after that, I then went to Arsenal. So, it's a bit of a weirder one. We went down fairly early. It didn't look good. It didn't look good before half time. 2 0 down. We thought, right, things need to change. Change a few weeks around. Martin Eddie came and bagged it for him. It's like, right, it's just game over. Let's try and park up the bus. Don't see any more goals. We parked up and then handed. And Luazza scored one back. 3 2. Chuck everyone forward. 3 up front. Went for it again. We thought this is going to happen. Hit the post. Came very chancy, but it didn't play off in the end. 3 2 defeat. I mean, it's not bad. You can't remember, like, I just keep mentioning, we're a newly promoted side in Watford and we're getting decent results. Like, you see, we beat Leeds, we beat Man City, draws against Logs Aston Villa, only narrowly losing to Arsenal. And then the most recent one at Molyneux, three points away at Wolves. Absolutely magnificent job from the boys. I mean, you see from the like stats, I had the majority of the shots, but we made them count. We made them count. Only five on target. Two of them go in. If they want a penalty from Hernandez, pretty much due. It was a penalty. Two injuries for either team though. Chief Moting, the new Wolves signing, he goes off. Nagatia for us. Wangi Chan brought one back, but Dennis popped up in the 81st minute with the winner for Watford. Which now sees us. See, fairly decent in the league, honestly. For a newly promoted side, I mean, I'll take ninth. Just end it there. I would take ninth from the table right now. Great season so far for the boys. You can see here in total though, 16 games, won six, drawn six, lost four. That's not, not bad. He's not bad for a new promoter. So, I mean, the other ones, Norwich, they're right down there. And Brentford and the relegation zones. I mean, we're doing the best in the new promoter sides. We're doing the best. We're not doing badly. I mean, we're in December now. And we're closer to Europe than we are the relegation zone. European push anyone? I don't, I, don't, I don't think so somehow. But yeah, today, another big fixture at the King Park against Leicester. We're going to have a look at the team. So we are again using the wide centre back options at the back because it seems to work in some games and other games it doesn't. I think we should mess with the instructions for each game and try and make it work. But I mean, it's looked fairly decent in the games we've used it so far this season. So we are going with that again. Backman in net now. Ben Foster's starting to drop off a little bit now. He's under contract for the end of the season. So we're thinking long term. Backman comes in net now instead. Meepham, Serota, and Nkulu at the back. Mifun and Kula got a bit of air dribbling, so we're putting them in the worst centre-back roles. They can push a little bit forward. Kula can come with the ball, you know. Firmino comes on the right wing. Seema out on the left at the moment. Due to injuries, 
he goes there, like, Messina's out right now, which is not ideal. And Danny Rose is, he hasn't looked great so far this season, honestly. So we give Seymour a chance. We're all about selling Seymour, so if he impresses today and the next few games in his left wing back role, he might, he might have a job still, yeah. You never know, you never know. Two fan goes in that forward midfield role. Mazala Sissoko, as he's newly named now, of course, in his Mazala role. We're trying Isamala Sar as a solo striker as well. We haven't tried this yet. We've tried him in this formation as an attacking forward. We're trying behind the strikers. Now he's got that pace, he's got that dribbling, decent enough shooting to support the front pairing of Joshua King and Hernandez. So, it'd be an interesting one. Can we take three points at Leicester? We can have a look, shall we? So, here we go then. Massive fixture at Leicester. Leicester team have been like up and down in recent years after they that Premier League victory. They've been lingering around like 8th to 4th position sort of for a few seasons now. So it's a good test in terms of long term wise. If we can try and get into that sort of best of the rest category as it's called. The likes of them, Everton or others. You can see that Everton are actually winning their match already. Early doors there. Interesting to see how we can do. I mean, early signs here. Open half an hour. Nothing at our end at all. We're getting good in possession but no shots off. So not the best of starts really for the boys. We keep pushing in here. It's been an interesting season so far. This back five thing has started to work for us, but it doesn't get many shots. That is the only problem. Like, they're lacking that support on the wings. We support supporting the strikers. We're getting to half time. Not a single highlight. Nothing to show of it so far. We go straight into the tactics. Have a look around here. I mean, maybe we try and switch it again a little bit then. Maybe drop back to the pack four now instead then. Put seam up here. Let me go back to the four two three one instead, actually. What we can do then. Dark can jump in there. King and Andes. We'll leave Seema up there for now. And Kuda can play left back, so he can probably do a job there. We'll switch to this instead. Double checking. Actually, he can't play left back. I'm completely wrong in saying he can play left back. He definitely cannot play left back. So, left back wise, we don't really have anyone on the bench, can we? They can go left back, so it'll have to be Seema. Seema have to drop back instead then. And then on that left hand side, then we can drop, we can drop King over there. We can put Cook here in the middle instead. Also, we'll put Pedro out there. Pedro looked really sharp so far, and we have used him this season, so just to see how we can get on. Hopefully, a difference maker. So, we changed to the 4 2 3 1 instead. Different instructions, a bit different. Let's see how it gets on the second half. I mean, you've done well so far, boys. You're doing very well. You can't find a goal from somewhere. We came in, we got a shot straight away in the second half, so it's already an improvement. Already a massive improvement. We've actually got a shot off this second half. Yeah, it's weird. No, I don't know so far this game. 60 minutes in. We're getting a few more shots now, so promising signs. To say the very least. We'll see how things go on. Right, 15 minutes to go. There's still been zero highlights. It's such a weird game. Like, you can, oh, as we say that, actually our first highlight second half here. Simon gets the ball out for Leicester. It finds Barco. Yosi Perez drives forward now towards the Watford defence. Finds just on this right hand side. Ball to the box, he finds Vardy, he's cleared away. Samar gets it again. Barco now, middle of the pitch. What about the Vestergaard here? I mean, it wouldn't take much to get counter behind these defenders right now. It's a, oh, it's a great strike from Jose Perez. He's touched on the 78th minute to finally get a goal in this game. I mean, Leicester probably the better team so far this game, really, but out of absolutely nowhere, this goal here. Vestergaard here with his ball for throw. Just pierces through the team to find Barco. And Perez just levers it first time. Untouchable. Great goal. One more Leicester. So we have a little bit of a mess round here quickly. It's Pedro gets the ball now. Finds loser. Was there. Seaman's the left hand side. I mean, we've seen much of him so far this game. I mean, he's just giving the ball out to Albrighton. I think he wants this move away, honestly. Doing things like that, he's asking for that move, isn't he, realistically? It's Perez. Back to Samir now. Into Barco in the middle of the pitch. Fana. Good play from Leicester, keeping the ball really well here. Shamal Cole plays it back into Vestergaard. All been Leicester. All been Leicester for the longest period of time here. There's Luckman finds Barco. He's waiting for that run from Vardy. He's down Vardy now, and it's a great save from Backman. Big, big save. Let me get out of this mud. It's all Brighton. In the corner now, into the box. Massive ball. Backman takes it with ease. Counter for Watford. Must be on, surely. There's a whole lot of ends. Nothing of it. So, full time comes. I mean,. It's a very quiet and boring game in the end. You can see the formation we went for in the end then for the last five minutes. Determined to try and get something out of this game. I mean, we've, we've had a bit of a slump at the minute, but we can't seem to pick up points as well as we were before. We find it a little bit harder. We've got like, winter coming now as well, the January transfer window. 
possibly looking at getting another some low moves in, see who's that contract for next season, anyone that can improve the team. Some work to do. There's definitely some work to do. But for now, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching again this episode. It's not our best result. It's a very quiet game, honestly. Not the best to watch, but thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the episode, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Any free agents you know of that come free at the end of the season, January players we can off contract to from Europe, chuck them in the comments. Why not? And if you want to as well, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, thank you very much and we'll see you soon.